Start your computations. everyone happy end of november can you believe it is like we are tiptoeing into december <sighs> what a year <laughs> but i've got some coffee here and i wanted to share with you guys some things i've been loving this month it's so wild i only have two makeup items the rest are like some body stuff some skincare some just house things some new things i'm using in my kitchen some target finds a necklace that so many of you guys have been asking about i'm going to share that and where it's from it's just a really fun mix of things and all of these i feel very strongly about and there is one fail too we'll talk about so cheers let's dive in so this video is very kindly sponsored by may love may love is a skincare brand i've been using for i wanted to say two years i think it might be going on three years but i feel like my skin has thanked me for using these products. It is amazing skincare, amazing quality of ingredients, but the price tag is so much lower than so many like high-end skincare brands. So if you've been watching my channel a while, you've probably heard me talk about their serums. I love so many of them. I love their Glow Maker. I use it every single day without fail, even if I'm not wearing makeup. I love their Hydrator Serum and I love their Nia 10 Serum to kind of even my skin tone. Those three are incredible, but I wanna talk about two newer products to me that I've been trying that I have fallen in love with over the past few months. So the first product I wanted to chat about, my favorite is the Night Renewer Glycolic Acid Cream. This retails for $27.95, really amazing price. And what's great is that if you're someone that has tried glycolic acid creams or AHA products before, and you were just a little bit too sensitive to it, this is one that has a lot of soothing ingredients as well. So it would probably work really well for you. I'm loving it. I use it every other night in my skincare routine. So it's got 10% medical grade glycolic acid. And then the soothing ingredients it has is vitamin E, squalane, shea butter, arnica flour, and aloe. So that's gonna calm your skin, but it also has hyaluronic acid to hydrate your skin. It's got so much good packed into this little jar. I love the kind of whipped airy texture. It's so seamless on the skin. And I'm telling you that first week of using this every other night, I notice a huge difference in the tone of like the redness on my skin, in the texture of my skin, it just smoothed everything out. So I think this is such a powerhouse. I feel like it's such a great addition to your skincare routine to use with products you're already using and loving. So love this. The only other piece of advice I would say is if you are using a retinol product, do it every other day with this instead of on the same night. Another one I've been loving is the One Cream Gentle Face Moisturizer. This is that cream that's like the one cream that does it all. And it's the same price as the other product, $27.95. I love this underneath makeup. I wore it today under my makeup and it doesn't look weird under makeup. It pairs really well with it, but I also love this enough to use it at night. After all of my serums and stuff, I'll put this on to kind of lock it all in. So it has a triple blend of squalane, coconut extracts, and glycerin to kind of nourish the skin, but it also has prebiotics, which is gonna kind of help foster a healthy, good bacteria in your skin. I also love that the cream is lightweight enough. It's not clogging your pores. There's no noticeable scent, so it's good for more sensitive skin. I'd been talking recently about, you know, there are a lot of expensive moisturizers out there that I really like, but this one is absolutely on par, if not better than those, and it is way cheaper. So if you're looking for gift ideas, either for someone else or even for yourself, if you're thinking about things you want to ask for, they do sell these in a kit and you can save money if you bundle them. So they have their creams kit, which has both of these products and their eye enhancer cream. They also have a serums trio, which has all three of the serums I love that I mentioned earlier in them. And again, you save money if you bundle. They have a couple of other kits and of course you can buy all of these separately. I trust this brand. I feel like they really put so much thought and effort. They're obsessive on their formulations and so I trust that any product they're putting out is going to be amazing for your skin. It's going to have amazing ingredients and an amazing formula. So if you're interested in any of those products I will have links for all of it down below. Thank you so much Mayla for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel over the years and of course nourishing my skin too. <laughs> So let's dive into some more of my favorites. So a couple of makeup items that I've been loving. This one is very new to me. I almost didn't mention it, but I was like, forget it. I love it so much, I'm mentioning it. It's the Tower 28 
Shine On Lip Jelly. I have it in coconut. This is what I'm wearing today over the NARS Lip Pencil in Expiry. It's their satin lip pencil. I love this. This is one of those glosses that like without plumping or giving you that tingly feeling, it still smooths out the lines on your lips. And I just think it is the most beautiful, most comfortable formula. I'm not wearing gloss and lip products all the time because if I'm actually leaving the house, I'm wearing a mask. And if I'm at home, I might not be wearing lip products all the time. So Tower 28 is one of the less expensive brands at Sephora, which I think is pretty cool, but I just think this formula is out of this freaking world. It just glides on, but it's lightweight, it's not sticky, but it just smooths my lips out, man. Mm. Okay, one that I did mention in my empties video, so I'll touch on quickly, is this freaking amazing eyeliner from L'Oreal. Stay with me. There's a reason I'm mentioning this random black eyeliner. It is the only black eyeliner in my recent memory I have tried that actually, if you put it on the waterline, stays and doesn't transfer to the other lid. So I like to wear it on the upper lash line, right on the water line, and I don't like it when it transfers down because I don't, like lately, I haven't been wearing any eye makeup on my bottom lashes. I don't know, I just haven't been. And so I didn't want it to transfer and look weird and uneven, and it doesn't, it doesn't. And not only that, the packaging is pretty with like the gold little textured lid. It is their Le Liner Signature. I guess I didn't actually say the name. I have it in like the Noir Cashmere shade, which is just black. It is amazing, going to repurchase again and again. I've been looking for a product like this for so long. Wow. So a huge fail, ha <laughs> ha. I love so many L'Oreal, we're talking about L'Oreal again, uh, so many L'Oreal mascaras, and I love them. This one was awful. It is their <laughs> Air Volume Mega Mascara. I was so pumped when this launched and when I bought it, and the wand is one of those big, fat, juicy ones. I love this kind of wand. It looked just fine on my lashes. It did what it said it was gonna do. It volumized and everything, and it looked pretty good, but it instantly transferred just everywhere. And when I say transfer, I mean like smudged, like hours after I put it on. And what's weird is I'm not someone that typically has that problem. So if you are someone that like mascara always smudges, stay far, far away. But if you're like, I've never had that problem and I did with this and I don't feel like I have tried a mascara in years that has done that to me. So very bizarre. So this is like, I used it three or four times. It happened every single time. And I was like, I'm done trying. Sorry, L'Oreal. That one was a huge fail. Okay. So I've been using men's deodorant for a long time because it's aluminum free and it works on me. I don't mind if I sweat, but it's that I don't want to smell, of course. So the sweating doesn't bother me so much, which is why I don't mind going aluminum free. The aluminum is usually what would actually like be the antiperspirant portion. So I get what is just a deodorant and this is from Old Spice. It's their Oasis scent. I know I'm not alone in my love for these men's deodorants. So many other people I love here on YouTube. I know Taylor Wynn, there's some, I don't remember what the one that was like discontinued, but I know there's a few she likes. This is the one I just been loving lately. It's called Oasis. It smells like vanilla. It is a ridiculously beautiful scent. Like when I put it on each morning, I'm like, ah, yes. Like it just smells good. So I have to recommend if you don't mind sweating, you will love this. Just wanted to pop in and say they do sell a version with the antiperspirant as well. And it's actually prettier because it has a matching cream lid. <laughs> but I really, really like the packaging. I wish this was like the same color as this because I think it looks even more pretty, even though it's a men's deodorant, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Listen up if you are someone that has the little red bumps on your arms, which is keratosis pilaris, me too. I'm, we're not alone, so many of us have it. And you might notice that some days for you are worse than others. Like sometimes when I get hot, you can really see it. Well, something that has been actually helping lately has been this sugar scrub from Tree Hut. I think I bought it on Ulta's site. It's their vitamin C shea sugar scrub. And I thought for sure I, would, I was saying that wrong, shea sugar scrub, no, I said it right. <laughs> Here's why I think it works. It has alpha hydroxy acids in it, and that has been known, that's what my dermatologist said to look for, for the KP or the keratosis pilaris. So it also has vitamin C, it has shea butter. It has a very fresh, smell, I, I can't quite pinpoint, kind of grapefruity, but it's nice. It's I, I actually really like the smell. I love the texture of this, and what I'll do is once or twice a week, I'll just get a little bit and rub it on my arms, I'll do my legs, and it just feels great. This definitely is helping with the texture, like the bumps are not are hardly there. I think it helps with the redness too, but the redness is still there, like I said, if I get really, really hot, like working out or something. So. I really like it. Give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try. If you need a sugar scrub anyway, and you also have those bumps, this would be the perfect one for you to try. 
I really love it. Definitely buying this again, like totally sold. With my luck, they'll discontinue it, but I, I think it's a newer product. Hopefully they will keep it, keep it rocking and rolling. Ugh, I got coffee breath and it just <laughs> does not smell good. I can smell it. Did you ever have those teachers growing up that like always had coffee breath? And it's funny because back then, let's say I was in middle school or elementary school and I'd smell it, I'd be like, oh, like why don't they brush their teeth? And then you learn, no, no, they brush their teeth. It's just that coffee does that to your breath over the few hours after you brush your teeth. <laughs> anyway, I guess I was probably that teacher with coffee breath for my students. I'm sure they hated that. Moving along, all right, if you are someone that has like achy joints, knees, calves, feet, ankles, oh my gosh, have I got a product for you. This I actually bought at a spa and it was pretty darn expensive. And then I learned later, of course, that they sell it, I'm pretty sure on Ulta's site. So I'm buying this again, but I'm gonna buy it on Ulta's site. It is the NEP. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, mineral bath salt, and it's for joint and muscles, and it has Arnica in it. And I'm learning very quickly that Arnica really helps my muscles. I think it also has magnesium in it. If I'm right, now I'm kind of looking. It's got all kinds of stuff, but I'm telling you, you put this in your bath. I did it last night again, because my knees were just killing me from a, like a dance workout I was doing. <laughs> which still loving MK Fit, her YouTube channel. If you need like fun workouts where you burn like serious amounts of calories, you have got to do her hit hop videos. I'll link it below. I just freaking love her. And I've, I've definitely lost weight doing those videos anyway, but my knees were hurting and I got a warm bath with this in it. And I'm telling you 20 minutes in that bath, I came out and my knees felt so much better. And that's where, you know, I don't want to have to take pain medicine like a leave or like an inset all of the time that's not good for you either and so this is a way that you know when i have the time to get a bath i can use this and i feel like it's actually making a difference and then i don't feel the need to be taking pain medicines all the time so that is amazing highly recommend okay the necklace so many of you guys have asked me where i bought it i bought it on etsy and i bought it actually from leanne says's recommendation i'm not sure if this is the exact size she has or not i feel like it looks smaller on her but they sell a whole bunch of these on Etsy. That is what I've learned. So I'm thinking about getting a silver one too, but it's just this really small beads. I think this might be like two or three millimeters. I love it. I love layering this. Like this is like more of a choker size. And then with a longer pendant necklace, it looks instantly like cute, trendy, put together. But the best part is this doesn't get tangled with the pendant necklace because that's one of the problems when I'm wearing a bunch of dainty necklaces together. They tend to get tangled and all wound up together. So I've really been a fan of this. Like I said, I might get another one in, a, in an even smaller ball size, but we'll see. Okay, random favorite. Bought this on Target for $6. Best $6 I've ever spent. So we hand wash, not all of our dishes. We have a dishwasher here that we use and love. But we do hand wash a lot of things, like a lot of our pans that we invested in, we like to hand wash just to be sure that they last a long time. Same with our mugs. We have quite an extensive mug collection and a lot of them are not necessarily dishwasher safe. So we always have a drying mat out and we're, we use it every single day. This is a giant one. I think it is 18 by 24 inches. So even if you didn't buy this one on Target, you can search anywhere and find these really large ones for pretty cheap. I love this gray one. They have a cream one that I really want too because we we need two of them. We There are many times that we've got them just spread out everywhere, but we had a really small one for the longest time and I was like, it's just not cutting it. Like I would end up still laying towels out to lay pots and pans when we'd make like a big meal. So this has been amazing and you can wash them in the machine wash if you need to wash them from time to time for sure. And it was actually my sister-in-law that had like giant ones and I was like, what? I didn't even know they sold big ones. So that's why I bought this. So I'll probably buy a second one when that cream one comes back in stock but love it six bucks totally worth it and it feels really well made another thing i bought you probably saw this and this in the aldi and target grocery haul video i did i can link in the eye and down below i bought these from target and you can get them online too and it's these refillable soap dispensers i'm trying to get on the bandwagon we still have a lot of like soaps we bought over the past year or two that we're trying to use but i'm trying to get better about using a bottle like this that i can just refill so i'm not going through so many plastic bottles so slowly but surely we're getting there but i bought two of these in the end and they're just they feel so weirdly well made i say weirdly because so many of these that i've looked at in stores and kind of mess with i'm like this this part would be like crooked or it doesn't go down this one really has a nice like oomph 
to it. And it's like a thick, really nice glass. So I have a feeling over time, this gold might eventually, you know, like show some wear and tear, but I feel like this is probably one of those things you have to replace from time to time anyway. But I really love it. It looks nice in our kitchen. And this one I'm planning on putting in our downstairs bathroom. I had to think through where, but that, yeah, that'll fit in with the motif in there. So love this. It is so beautiful and so well made. Okay, so another thing I'll probably be popping open here in a little bit when I'm done with this coffee is a new discovery. So you may have heard of the Virgil's like company, they sell like soda and they've always done like cream soda and root beer like in glass bottles and stuff and it's really good. Well, they have a zero sugar line, which is like diet if you will. And they have a root beer, which is pretty darn good, but they also have a cream soda. Oh, it's zero sugar and that cream soda tastes so delicious. So it's a little more guilt-free if you wanna enjoy it from time to time. I tend to do LaCroix like once a day, but that is, I'll reach for like a Virgil's when I'm like, I just want something a little bit different. Wow, that cream soda, if you can find it, I know it's a little bit harder to find the zero sugar. If you live near a Meyer. The Myers around me do sell the zero sugar ones. It's near where the Zevia is, near like Gatorade and stuff. So amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, so book nerds, you're up next. If you don't care about books, I'll see you later. The book I just finished was called Station Eleven. I don't even know how I stopped. I'm sure I was on my Goodreads account and just scrolling through and I saw someone else I knew was reading it. And when I read the synopsis for this book, it's basically about this post pandemic world where a disease, I know it's like super depressing and it was for a while, but then it got really interesting and now I can't stop thinking about it. But it was basically a pandemic swept the world, but it killed like 99% of people within 48 hours. Like it was wild. And so it just talks about the aftermath of that. And I don't want to say anything else because you have to read it. And the other thing I want to say is if it sounds interesting to you, you really got to get past the first half of the book. And I know it's like, oh, okay, well then why read it? Just trust me because it was kind of depressing to read the first half because I'm like, you know, we're living in this pandemic world, but it gave me so much perspective on, I'm like getting teary eyed. It gave me so much perspective on how lucky we are right now because if the pandemic were so much worse and it killed 98, 99% of people, oh my gosh, like all of your loved ones would be gone, all of them. And it was so awful to read, but it was so interesting to see how these people carved a life out of their new life. And it's, it's just good. And it's totally made me look at what we're all going through. I know we're all going through different stuff. I know so many of you guys have lost loved ones. So it's not to downplay that because that is, I can't even imagine. But I guess my thing is if you're someone like me that, you know, I haven't lost any loved ones from this and yes, it's affected our lives, but not in such a detrimental way. It really gives perspective on how much worse it could be or could have been and how in the weirdest of ways we are lucky. So I'm saying all that, take that with a grain of salt, but what a book, what a book, but get through the first half. I promise by the end of it, you'll be like, what an interesting book. Like, and you, I've thought about it every single day since I finished it two weeks ago, every single day. So there you go. And bonus points, they talk about Shakespeare a little bit in it and because there's a theater troupe and you'll see, but so I liked it for that reason too. So by the way, things to look forward to in December, Vlogmas is starting in December every single day. There will be a vlog, I'm like nervous just talking about it. There will be a vlog every single day from me and my husband Tyler. So day one will be up on my channel and it actually will be December 2nd because we'll film it on December 1st and then we'll edit it the next day. So starting really December 2nd, you'll see the vlog on my channel. The next day you'll see it on my husband's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. And we'll just go back and forth every other day. And holy moly, it's gonna be so much work, but it's gonna be so much fun. If you've never joined us for Vlogmas, this would be an amazing year to start because what else are we doing, right? It has become such a tradition for us. I know so many of you guys have said it has become a tradition for you all. And that means so much to me that we would possibly be a part of your holiday tradition in December. So thank you all for the love and support with that. And I can't wait to start it slash nervous because it's a lot. But anyway, and I also have gift guides coming up. I'm planning a kind of unique gift idea, small business gift idea video coming soon. I've got a beauty gift sets video coming soon. Whew. All right, I will shut up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you are interested in checking out any of the May Love skincare products that I love, I will have information and links down below in the description box. Thank you again, May Love, for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys in my next one.